My beloved child, I am your God, your creator, your protector, your companion, and your healer. I am here to mend your heart and embrace you with my love. Whenever you need something, just ask with a believing heart and without any doubt, because everything good you hope for can become true. Your spiritual well-being is my priority, and I yearn for you to grow in love and understanding of who I really am every day. Remember, I am not a stern father who holds on to your past errors. I have forgiven all your wrongs, and by my sacrifice, I have cleared your guilt and set you free. Now, my focus isn't on finding your flaws. I only think of your well-being. On that cross, your future was secured. Ahead of you lies a journey of wonders. Your path is paved with miracles. You have listened to me, so keep close. Come to me daily and embrace these words with your whole heart. Trust in my plan for you, for I see you as victorious and thriving. Don't use past failures or your current circumstances as excuses. Don't say you're too old to achieve greatness. Change that mindset. See yourself as I see you. You are my beloved child. I picked you out from the crowd, reached out and called your name. You responded to me and your blessings were secured even before the world was made. Now all you need to do is live by faith, let go of any doubts, avoid distractions, stand up, and be bold in your pursuits. Progress with determination, resilience, and steadfast faith. I know the challenges have been tough, but charge forward with whatever strength and faith you have left, and I will increase your might and support you. Realize now, you've stepped into a realm where only the courageous thrive. Those who dwelled on defeat are left behind. They once swayed you with their doubts. You believed them and thought you'd never succeed, but my spirit has touched you sparking an unquenchable fire of bravery, power, and love within you. You were never are not and will never be a coward. You are my child, the bravest of the brave, the victor among victors. While others dwell on their weaknesses and troubles, you stand tall, waving the flag of victory. March onward and don't look back, as there are many who wish you to forget about triumphing. But you have chosen to serve the Almighty God, allowing me to inscribe my word upon your heart and asking me to light your path with my radiant light. We are united, you in me and I in you. Each morning, I gift you with many supernatural gifts and spiritual talents. Come, wash your face in the living waters that flow from my word. My mercies are renewed daily. Believe in them, embrace them, receive them, and proclaim them, if you so wish, but never forget them. Challenges will arise, and if you let your guard down, discouragement and despair will strike you deeply. You'll lose your strength. Your vision will blur. Your spiritual sensitivity will diminish. And you'll forget this living word that empowers you so greatly. Therefore, I urge you to keep striving, but don't rely solely on your human strength. Don't be like those filled with pride who forget their God who loves and yearns for them deeply. Stay true to your path. You were born for success and to fulfill your divine purpose. My blessing is upon you and nothing and no one can take that away. Accept your reality. Are you listening? Because now you live in a supernatural realm. I speak directly to your heart, so you understand that nothing, not hunger, nor distress, nor trials, nor your own failures, can ever make me stop loving you. I declare my eternal and unconditional love for you, a promise signed with my own blood, unbreakable and unforgettable. But in return, what will you give me? I desire only your loyalty, your commitment to serve and know me better. Show your love for me by treating those around you with kindness. I know you aren't perfect, but let me use you. I will enlighten your soul and guide you in all you need to do to be blessed and be a blessing to those you love. Ask, and I will give to you. 
Share these words that will bring you great prosperity. I have always been, am now, and always will be with you. Your blessing is near. Open your heart to joy, for the miracle you've been waiting for is about to manifest. Have faith, like during those times when you felt there was no escape and no hope. Your natural senses said it was all over, but my spirit revealed my powerful will to you. I did not choose you for defeat. You are destined for victory. But I desire for you to seek and know me more deeply. In this world, there is no love as pure and profound as mine. Some cannot grasp it and choose to reject and deny it. They refuse to accept that they too are deeply loved. And they try to convince others that they are always alone, that there is no God in the universe who loves them so deeply. Here I am, before you with open arms, waiting for you to give me your heart, that struggles, dreams, and sometimes weeps. Your intentions are good and sincere. My desire is to fulfill the beautiful aspirations you hold for your family. I won't let you fall into crushing debts. I don't want you bound to anyone. The blessings I provide are free, given so that you might share with others, support your loved ones, and not hide them away. Hidden blessings wither away. Let the river of life flow freely, and do not hinder your own prosperity. I am the God of generosity, of those who help, share, and give. I am your provider. I will increase the blessings I bestow upon you, ensuring you lack nothing. I have decided that you will no longer struggle or feel crushed by the daily challenges of this world. I feed your spirit with words of faith, hope, and love. These aren't just nice sayings for posting, they are words of eternal life. If you hold them in your heart and mind, they will lead you to many victories. You won't be afraid to face adversaries. For you, there will be no times of want, nor will your descendants ever beg for bread. They won't be trapped or defeated. I am enhancing your sensitivity to understand the supernatural power of my Holy Spirit. I'm not just touching your soul to make you feel good. I'm empowering you with strength and self-control. Rise and work, fight and conquer, and those who oppose you will flee in fear. You won't be intimidated by any situation. You possess an unbreakable spirit, but it is my presence that empowers you. I've transformed your sorrow into joy, lifted your spirits, and shown you that you were born with a true purpose. You are a very special person. Even those who knew you before and witnessed your transformation can't deny that with each passing day, you grow more like me. I have blessed you with a divine anointing that enables you to rise again and again. I will open doors for you wherever you go. Ask me, and I will fill your life with gifts. I urge you to use these gifts to do good wherever you are. Share this message with anyone you meet, whether they seem to need it or not. Do it anyway, because every blessing you give will come back to you increased. Learn to think as I think. If I promise to pour out blessings on you, think big. Not of silver, gold, or earthly riches, but of a rich and everlasting life. Because if you earnestly seek me, everything else you need will be provided. Learn from my word. Every miracle followed someone with genuine heartfelt faith. It didn't matter if they were powerful or humble, their gratitude for things unseen fueled their faith even more. They witnessed incredible wonders, parting seas, defeating vast armies, multiplying provisions for the needy, healing the sick, and enduring trials and persecutions with dignity and without complaint. The same power that enabled them to persevere is my Holy Spirit, right beside you today. You are not following a fictional God. In my presence you find love, forgiveness, healing, salvation, patience, peace, and wisdom. In my hands I hold your future, your answers, your escape, and your solutions. Come to me. I want you to know me better 
to experience the reality of my divine and supernatural power, to be my tool in establishing my kingdom, and to let my will unfold in your heart and your home. Your miracle has a set date. The desires of your heart will turn into reality at the perfect time. You know and believe that I never fail, and I never lie. I will always give you the best. The promise I give you is one of a holy, eternal, and spiritual blessing that no jealous person can snatch away, nor can thieves steal it. Your faith must stay strong. The more you choose to believe, the more challenges and setbacks you might face. But, my dear one, always remain at peace. The troubles you see are merely desperate attempts by your enemy, who still thinks he can defeat you. Know that you have my help, your blessing is on its way, and no one can stop it. I will never give you anything that could harm you. If you ask for bread, I won't give you a stone. If you yearn to drink from my holy spring, I won't give you bitter waters. I will not make you live in a ruined and old house when you are meant to live with me in a heavenly home. I am your father, and I want the best for you. I am not thinking about sending you punishments or putting you through pointless trials. Many are upset and angry with me, lashing out at nothing and venting to the void, but I love them. I am not angry with anyone. I wake everyone up each day with the sunshine. You can breathe, feel, think, and live. To all, young and old, I offer the chance to choose the right path. Many know how to do good, they can tell right from wrong. They know I exist and that I love them, but they choose not to come. They don't want to give up their perceived freedom. They think they are free when they disobey me, but their own foolishness blinds them and they fall into their own traps. The enemy is like a roaring lion, looking for someone to devour, and he will surely catch those who forget me first. Those who reject me fall for false happiness and stop trusting in me. But you will always be surrounded by favor and mercy. You will witness many miracles. Some leave me because they've been told I don't accept them, that I reject them, but that's not true. Receive my blessing and let your heart be filled with my spirit. Never stop being thankful. Never stop praying. Continue to feed on my word. Come every day, ready to listen, and my power and love will be revealed in your life. The date of your miracle is drawing near. I have blessings for you that will fill you with joy. I can open doors that no one else would open for you. In my hands, I hold beautiful emotions, pleasant spring afternoons, joyful autumn mornings, and oases of contentment in winter amidst the desert. Tell me what your heart needs, and I promise to give you the good and uplifting things you ask for. The answer to your prayer is assured in my written word. You must believe it, because I do not lie. Return to the simple roots of your faith. You must believe, smile, patiently wait, and wake each morning with eyes wide open, expecting a surprise like a child looks forward to a gift stretching out your arms confidently to your Heavenly Father, who gave you life and wants only the best for you. Wait for me with faith. I will not come to scold or punish you. You have given me your heart. My sacrifice has cleansed you. There is no evil within you. It pains you deeply whenever you falter and you come back to me repentant, seeking forgiveness and realigning your path. That's just who you are. I have no reason to be angry with you. I will grant what you request, because I know you won't ask for meaningless things. I will bring joy to your family. To your ill, I will send healing. There will be peace and harmony in your home. The way you communicate will improve. You will speak openly, expressing yourselves with love and patience. This is a wonderful blessing not all families experience but it is available to anyone who opens their heart to me. And today, if they abandon their misguided ways and come to me resolved to renew their thinking, 
to see life differently, to appreciate themselves, their families, and those around them. And if they are willing to prioritize me in their lives, in their homes, their workplaces, their minds, their souls, and their hearts, everywhere, I talk about prosperity in terms of divine peace, freedom from debts, having enough food on your table, having a decent job, and a family united without bitterness or conflict, without divisions or betrayals, I speak of my divine presence dwelling in your home. Imagine a sower went out to sow his seed. As he scattered the seed, some fell along the path, and the birds came and ate it up. Some fell on rocky places, where it did not have much soil. It sprang up quickly because the soil was shallow. But when the sun came up, the plants were scorched, and they withered because they had no root. Other seed fell among thorns, which grew up and choked the plants. Still, other seed fell on good soil, where it produced a crop, a hundred sixty or thirty times what was sown. Whoever has ears, let them hear. My child, this parable of the sower speaks deeply to the condition of your heart and the receptiveness of your spirit to my word. Each type of soil represents a different response to the message of the kingdom. Consider the seed that fell along the path, snatched away by the birds. This represents those who hear the message, but do not understand it. The evil one comes and snatches away what was sown in their hearts. Guard your heart against distractions and misunderstandings that can steal the truth away from you. The seed that fell on rocky places signifies those who hear the word and at once receive it with joy. But since they have no root, they last only a short time. When trouble or persecution comes because of the word, they quickly fall away. My child, let your faith take deep root. Nourish it daily through prayer, study, and fellowship. Do not let the trials of life cause your faith to wither. The seed that fell among thorns represents those who hear the word, but the worries of this life and the deceitfulness of wealth choke it making it unfruitful. Beware of allowing the cares of this world and the pursuit of material things to overshadow your spiritual growth. Seek first my kingdom and my righteousness, and all these things will be given to you as well. Finally, the seed that fell on good soil is the one who hears the word and understands it. This is the one who produces a crop yielding a hundred, sixty, or thirty times what was sown. Strive to be like the good soil, receptive and responsive to my word. Let it flourish in your life, producing abundant fruit for the kingdom. Reflect on this parable and examine the soil of your heart. Prepare it to receive my word fully, allowing it to grow and transform you. As you do, you will see the fruits of the Spirit manifest in your life. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. My beloved, remember that I am the vine and you are the branches. If you remain in me and I in you, you will bear much fruit. Apart from me, you can do nothing. Stay connected to me and let my words abide in you. Through this connection, you will find strength guidance, and the ability to live a life that glorifies me. In every season, seek me earnestly. Delight yourself in my presence, and I will give you the desires of your heart. Trust in my timing, for it is perfect. Though you may not understand all that happens, rest in the knowledge that I am in control, orchestrating all things for your good and my glory. You are my beloved child, and I delight in you. Even when you falter, my love remains steadfast. There is nothing you can do to separate yourself from my love. Neither death nor life, neither angels nor demons, neither the present nor the future nor any powers, neither height nor depth nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate you from my love that is in Christ Jesus your Lord. Draw near to me, and I will draw near to you. 
Seek me with all your heart, and you will find me. In the secret place of prayer, lay bare your soul. Pour out your heart to me, for I am your refuge. In my presence, you will find fullness of joy and pleasures forevermore. Do not be afraid to share your deepest fears and your highest hopes with me. I am here to listen, to comfort, and to guide you. Your faith is a precious gift, more valuable than gold. It is through faith that you are saved by grace. Nurture this faith, let it grow and flourish. Faith comes from hearing and hearing through the word of Christ. Immerse yourself in scripture, let it dwell richly in your heart. As you grow in faith, you will find that your trust in me becomes unshakable, your hope unwavering. In moments of doubt, remember the times I have been faithful. Recall the miracles I have performed, the prayers I have answered, and the ways I have provided for you. Let these memories be a source of encouragement and a reminder that I am the same yesterday, today, and forever. My faithfulness endures through all generations. Be mindful of the company you keep. Surround yourself with those who will uplift and encourage you, who will spur you on toward love and good deeds. Bad company corrupts good character, but iron sharpens iron. Seek out relationships that will help you grow in your faith and walk in righteousness. Do not be discouraged by the trials you face. Consider them opportunities for growth and refinement. Just as gold is refined by fire, so too is your faith strengthened through adversity. Trust in my purpose even when it is not clear. Know that I am working all things together for your good. You are called to be a light in the world, a city on a hill that cannot be hidden. Let your light shine before others, that they may see your good deeds and glorify your Father in heaven. Be bold in your witness, unashamed of the gospel, for it is the power of God that brings salvation to everyone who believes. Take heart, my child. The journey ahead is filled with promise. There will be challenges, yes, but there will also be victories. There will be moments of doubt, but there will also be moments of profound faith. Through it all, I am with you. I will never leave you nor forsake you. Remember, you are more than a conqueror through Christ who loves you. No weapon formed against you shall prosper, and every tongue that rises against you in judgment you shall condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, and their vindication is from me. Be steadfast, immovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, knowing that in the Lord your labor is not in vain. Press on toward the goal for the prize of the upward call of God in Christ Jesus. Keep your eyes fixed on the author and perfecter of your faith, who for the joy set before him endured the cross, scorning its shame, and sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. My child, you are precious in my sight, and honored, and I love you. I will give people in exchange for you, nations in exchange for your life. Do not be afraid, for I am with you. Bring my love to those around you. Be my hands and feet, and let your life be a living testament to my grace and mercy. My child, my will for you is that you prosper as your soul prospers, that your mind is set on heavenly, not earthly riches. If my Holy Spirit resides in your home, you have true prosperity, you have eternal life. Ask me with confidence. Believe in my word with faith. Remember, all things are possible for those who believe in me. I love you. All your concerns will vanish and be forgotten. All the negatives will be left behind. I forgive your faults, forget your mistakes, and cast your sins into the depths of the sea. If something is troubling your mind, bring it to me. Place it in my hands and let go of that burden. My plan for you is to journey through this life joyfully, not with fleeting happiness, but with an eternal joy that is incomparable, that lets you smile and maintain trust even when problems arise. 
You can be sure in your soul that no one can take my love away from you. I will revive many of those hopes that seemed lost, those dreams you had for yourself and your family. I am changing everything. Your life will never be the same. But stop worrying. Stop fueling your fears with thoughts of defeat. I have broken all chains. You are free. Soar high and see from above how far you can go. If you believe in me, accept my help. Let go of your past and stop revisiting old wounds. If you felt unloved before, today you have my love. If you were unaided before, today you have my support and my blessing. If you were constantly hurt by reminders of your past, if you were often denied things, you can forget all that now. It no longer exists. You have believed in me, you have given me your life, and now you are in my hands. I will protect your heart because it belongs to me. Don't entrust it to anyone else. No one will harm you again. You have my promise, cling to it. I love you. Bring all your conflicts and worries to me. Those things you think are lost, the mazes where you see no escape, the painful situations you can't make sense of. Wait for me. I am here for you, always by your side. Even when your enemies claim you are lost, remember you are not. I am your light, leading you to find the way. I will reach out my hand to pull you from the depths. Just take my hand. You may feel weak, but offer me your faith and trust in me. I will aid you. I am your path, your truth, the gateway to my grace and blessings. The past is behind. I offer you the chance to move forward. Forget your old sorrows. I have cast your past mistakes into the depths of the sea. I remember them no more. So why should you? Dwelling on the past serves no purpose. You've asked repeatedly for renewal of your soul and a change in your life, and I am making it happen. But let go of what can't be changed. Forgive and forget past hurts. Leave old grudges behind. Don't let unforgiveness imprison you in pain. Fill yourself with patience and love. Understand those who judge you, forgive those who misunderstand you, and give a second chance to those who have turned their backs on you. They will see how I bless you and be astonished at what I do in your life. Look, I am breathing new dreams into you. You've longed to climb mountains and reach the summit, but I will make all things new. You will go further, climb higher. You have my blessing now and forever and my love for you is everlasting. Here's the most important and powerful truth you'll hear today. I love you with a pure and wonderful love. I was, am, and will always be with you. Your family is very important to me, and many of your prayers will soon be answered. The blessings headed your way are beautiful and grand. Do not fear or despair. Your help comes from heaven, and nothing can stop it. Though challenges will come and enemies abound, with many rising against you in the spiritual realm aggressively, I say again, do not be afraid. No harm will touch you. My angels surround you, and my majestic glory will protect you from all evil. Don't hold grudges against anyone. You may face attacks from relatives and friends, but remember, your real battle is not with them. Your foe operates from the shadows, setting snares to trap you, using mistakes and minions to battle you, and cause such despair that you might feel defeated. To combat these spiritual forces of evil, join my army of angels in praise and worship. Kneel in prayer at dawn, it is crucial. The end times are near. Prepare your soul, alert your family, and unite in prayer at home. Let my Holy Spirit take control of your life. I will grant you self-control and remove fear, filling your heart with certainty. The enemy is cunning and deceitful, but do not be intimidated or afraid. He is not all-powerful or everywhere at once. He doesn't know your thoughts or my plans, but he sees my work in you and is infuriated by your prosperity. Many fear this foe when he strikes, 
forgetting they serve a God so mighty, nothing and no one can compare. You are under the protection of your all-powerful God. My grace shields you from harm. No force can defeat you. No one can accuse you. I am your protector and your defender. No one can snatch you from my hand. Do not let fear weaken you. Protect your thoughts. Never think that the enemy is stronger than your heavenly father. Although he is persistent and cunning, circling your life, looking for moments of weakness to strike. When you feel overwhelmed or think you might fall, call out to me in prayer. Cry to me and I will answer, filling you with strength and protection. If you're worried about your children and their future, entrust them to me through prayer. I promise to protect them. They will be safe under my care throughout their lives because I love them just as I love you. Move forward without doubt, and I will provide the strength you need to stay steadfast. You won't be discouraged by obstacles, for I will fill you with my joy and peace, allowing you to enjoy my blessings without worry. I will be your shield and sword, protecting you and your loved ones from harm. Encourage your loved ones to open their hearts to me, to let me care for them and show them my love as their good father. I have never failed you, nor will I ever fail you, for I am an almighty God. No matter what others say or do against you, my love for you will not wane. Good things are on their way to your life. I will open doors you thought were shut, and you will begin to thrive. My promises are already yours. I have given you my commandments. Come to me each morning and listen to the new messages I have for you. Open your heart and bow your soul in daily prayer. Always vigilant, for the enemy seeks moments of distraction and weakness to make you forget your promises to me. In those times, temptations will try to pull you away from me. Today I declare you victorious, a brave conqueror, strong in faith. Your desire to serve me is beautiful and steadfast. It's time to change your mindset. You are no longer, nor will you ever be, a victim of the enemy. He is already defeated. You are more than a conqueror and I am with you. Stand up and proclaim, I am a warrior of my heavenly father. I walk fearlessly. His supernatural power performs miracles in my heart. My family and I are in his hands, protected, blessed, embraced by his love. I love you and will always love you. What must I do to convince you of my love? I know what I will do. I will take your hand, kiss your forehead, and tell you once again how much I love you, but in a way so profound that you will feel it differently. You will sense the holy fragrance of this supernatural love. I am taking away your current worries and immersing you in a beautiful and wonderful emotion, eternal, sacred, and healing that will never leave you. When you open your eyes the next day, you will not be the same. This beautiful emotion is love, and if you haven't felt it before, get ready, because I am filling your heart with joy and life. This tender emotion will grow every minute. Your peace will increase every day. Your entire being is transforming. The world seeks peace and freedom. People want to escape disappointments and never feel lonely, but whenever I reach out to them, they often run the other way rejecting this powerful love that can transform their lives, giving them the courage and strength to pursue their dreams and renew their zest for life. I planted the feeling in them that they're not on the right path. They need to return to me, come home, turn away from evil, nourish themselves with my word and embrace my commandments. Only in the world will they find anguish and suffering. Their eternal life, divine peace, and infinite happiness are here with me. I'll say it once more. I love you. Today, I will place small, beautiful details along your path. Sharpen your senses. Feel, receive, perceive, and cherish this sweet sensation of eternal love that envelops you. This experience is supernatural, transcending mere sight and sound. 
It's an indescribable emotion that fills you, lifting you as if you were soaring above the clouds. But it also transforms you, clearing away what holds you back. My power is revealed, not just in your emotions and feelings. The most significant miracle is the transformation of your character and attitude. You will no longer be like a tree that bears no fruit, a flower without scent, or a river devoid of water. You will overcome indecisiveness and cease making continual mistakes. My glory surrounds you, comforting you while also imparting wisdom. Do your part and come by faith. Immerse yourself in my word. Open your Bible and read every day. Repeat it. Don't grow weary. Don't give up. Be persistent. This is the true miracle I want for you. That you find peace. Receive my love. End your distress. Feel well. Enjoy my presence. Never feel lonely. And that words and phrases that build up and heal flow from you. That your eyes reflect love and patience. That you treat your family kindly. A miracle without effect is like a glass without water. A plate without food. A night without sleep. I never perform supernatural acts just to impress. Many claim miracles that seem real and powerful yet their lives and words spread confusion and hatred, a total void. Those who do not love do not know me, for I am love. Do not worry, I will help you to forgive, to forget, to be patient, to receive and to give others another chance. Do not let yourself be looked down upon. Treat everyone with the respect they deserve. Be aware that some around you may not understand this divine love. Their hearts have grown cold, they claim to believe in me, but no longer have faith in my power to work miracles. Do not fret if they choose not to believe. Let them remain in their closed-off world where they see only their own perfection. They point fingers at everyone and claim they know me, but they dishonor me with their actions. I will deal with them. You continue on your path. Keep praying, loving and doing good indiscriminately. If they hurt you, forgive them again. If you find forgiveness hard, kneel in my presence. I will grant you the strength. My Holy Spirit will descend upon you, filling you with patience and understanding. You already hold victory in all your battles. Just come and claim it. Approach with faith and outstretched hands in prayer. I want to bless you abundantly. I will continue to demonstrate my love in countless ways. As long as you are in this world, you are in my presence. Your family, and you mean so much to me. Both on earth and in heaven, my power will be evident. Countless families who embrace this message will find restoration and immense blessings. Every home that loves me will shine with my divine presence. With all the love I hold for you, I assure you, you are never alone. Day and night, I am with you, soothing you, whispering healing and comforting words, filling you with peace and joy. When a new day dawns, you will face it with faith and bravery. I love you dearly. I am here, embracing and protecting you with all my might. Your home and your family are safe in my care. I am your father, your protector, and your guide through storms and darkness. In those moments I cradle you in my arms with a love unmatched, for you are unique and precious to me. My wish is to look after you and shower you with my love every moment, from dawn to dusk. While you sleep, I bring you comfort. When you dream, I speak to your heart. And when you awaken, here I am ready to take your hand and walk together with faith and strength through a day filled with challenges, victories, and blessings. Your heart is strong. Do not let fear overtake you. Do not bow your head when faced with threats. No enemy can stand against you because you are mine, and I am here to defend you. Continue on with faith, treading confidently on this path laden with blessings. I have brought you this far because I have wonderful plans for you, awaiting in my perfect timing. It's time to move forward. It's dawn. You need to pray. I have cast away your pain and errors, flinging them far, 
so they cannot hurt you. Now, I have anointed you with a special oil that makes you feel strong and uplifts your spirits. You stand before me, absorbing my words of love, words that are life and inscribed in your heart. They will be the light that always guides you towards the good I have in store for you. Even if you sometimes feel small or weak, remember, I am your refuge. In every decision, every step, my love and my spirit accompany you. If you feel sadness or fear, remember that even in those moments, I am your friend. My word and my love are your peace and strength. I do not turn away from your friendship or ignore your prayers. When you face difficult trials, I am your shepherd, always leading and caring for you. I protect you from the dangers that lurk, ready to defend you from any threats that arise. Surely some might wish you harm, but if you believe in me, I hold your precious heart in my hands, and no evil will reach you. No one can harm my children. Anyone who tries will face my wrath. Remember, my love for you is complete and unending. You are always protected with me. I lead the way for you, readying your path, but I want to see your faith, your bravery. Keep fighting, don't give up, and be ready to receive the blessings I have in store for you. Today, I tell you it's time to embrace these gifts. Step outside and let the sacred rain soak you. I am opening the heavens, pouring out blessings abundantly on you. You are meant for great things. You are not made for failure. It's time to recognize your courage. Your blessings are ready and waiting. It's time to rise. Even if you worry sometimes, especially about money, do not fear. I will handle everything. Trust in me. I will take care of you and your loved ones in every way. You must work hard and smart with carefulness and wisdom. Respect your workplace. Never speak ill of those who employ you. Stay honest, pure, and true. And I will bless you abundantly. Unexpectedly, opportunities to advance both spiritually and materially will come your way. Know that I am always with you, protecting you, providing what you need, and guiding you towards paths of love and prosperity. Talk to me every day and feel my loving presence. Your challenges are not greater than my love. Remember, I am your guide. When times get tough, remember these words for comfort and peace. Today, open your heart to my peace. Let the comfort of my words calm you. Allow my joy to fill your heart. If sadness weighs you down, let me wipe your tears. I want you to feel my profound love. Give me this moment to change your life. Ram now on. You'll be free from all worries. You will wake each day with a smile, spreading happiness to your family and friends. Keep moving forward, believing, trusting, and always open to my love and the embrace I offer. I love you. Amen.